While the electrical grids are being constantly monitored, so too are the rivers. Sean Boyd is in the Sierras where after an unusually wet winter, combined with extreme heat, snow melt is running off the mountains and causing dangerous conditions. Absolutely, look at this raging river. When's the last time you saw the American River looking like that? Well, that's all because of all that snow that was up in the higher elevations. It's melting and now rivers around California are flowing faster and harder and colder than they ever have. And that is creating a danger for you and your family if you let your guard down. These are images taken by South Lake Tahoe Fire and Rescue after pulling the body of a woman from the upper Truckee River. She was paddle boarding when she got hung up on this fallen tree and drowned. Record snowfall in the mountains is melting and that's attracting people to rivers all over California. But conditions are much different this year. Much higher water, two to three times uh, more water coming down the river. Paramedic Brian Pierce warns recreationalists to beware of unusual conditions and increased risk. There's more trees down from the river, there's more hidden objects, the water is moving faster so you have less response time, um, and it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Cold water can shock the body, cramping or stiffening muscles and making it more difficult to breathe. The U.S. Forest Service has cleaned most of the debris piles in parts of the Truckee River that flow through the national forests. But it's what's under the water that can be dangerous. I can't tell you how many horror stories have happened out here. Steve Lenoy ran a kayak shop for 27 years in the Lake Tahoe Basin. He says tragedy can also strike when people panic under stress, like when the woman paddleboarder's leash caught that tree. By the way, he advises never wear a leash when paddle boarding on a river. Good thing this young lady wasn't wearing hers. We watched her get tossed from her paddle board into the Truckee at the very same spot where the woman had drowned just days before. Let the board go. No life jacket either, but she escaped with her life. And of course, always remember to wear your life jacket. It could mean the difference between life and death. Also, remember that the water is faster. It's stronger and it is much colder. And also right beneath the surface, a lot of debris that could cause a lot of problems for you. Here now with some potentially life-saving tips is Heather Noel with the U.S. Forest Service. Heather? I've got tips for you. Wear your personal flotation device. Know your location and never go alone. Beware of stronger currents this year. If you're gonna drink, please drink responsibly and never recreate on the water alone. Back to you, Sean. Great tips. Thanks, Heather. Well, that does it for this edition of Inside Look. I'm Sean Boyd for OESnews.com.